been high scoring for the most part. Trend has continued into tonight. Second gold medal to be earned here at 63 kilos. Kazakhstan with the Tokyo Olympian, Ana Gulov. Kyrgyzstan with Shar Shinbekov, the U23 medalist from a few years ago. still feeling each other out as we get close to the one minute mark the referee will come in just issue a verbal warning wants a fresh start wants both wrestlers to open it up a little bit more we'll be getting a whistle here pretty quickly could go either way on this first directive for parterre not a wrestler taking any type of shot both wrestlers fairly accurate with their control in the center and let's see how they go. They'll go one blue. So Kyrgyzstan with a chance to go Partier and Sharshimbekov in the position. Kyrgyzstan in the blue, Kazakhstan underneath, Partier defense in the yellow. Briefly up to a stand up with Sharshimbekov, trying to regroup a second time into that passivity zone area. Lost his grip, good defense underneath. Anagulov with those heavy hips just driving toward the mat. Good defense, avoids giving up any points and we go back to the feet, one nothing. Kurzakstan misses the early opportunity. Sharshin Bekov, junior Asian bronze medalist in 2017. Just missed out on a senior world medal three years ago in 2019. He took fifth. Did not have the Asian championships he was hoping for in 2020 in India. That year he took ninth, winning just one match. But a little bit of a different outcome here in Ulamatar. Talked about at the onset about the tremendous day that Kazakhstan has enjoyed. They came up short in the first gold medal match at 55 kilos, but four finalists tonight. Ana Gulov, second of four, who will wrestle for gold for Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan traditionally a, a stronghold for these Asian championships. Last year it was Almaty, a few years back, Nur Sultan, of course, the world's best gathered in Nur Sultan three years ago for the world championships. Strong wrestling region, especially in Greco-Roman wrestling. After three minutes, not much, one nothing. Marshall back off with the passivity point. That has been it. You can bet Ina Gulov is going to get a chance to go parterre. He quickly springs out of his corner. He's ready to go. A little bit more slow, methodical approach coming from Sharshim Bekov. Area two underway for gold medal at these Asian championships. Imperative here for Aina Gulov to, to really dictate the pace. And now the two cracked heads inadvertently. And down to a knee goes Sharshim Bekov. And Aina Gulov knew he cracked him pretty well. He did not look to attack any further. He knew his opponent was stunned and the respect between these two athletes. Man, they really butted heads like two rams just clashing on the mountainside.
tough modern day gladiators. They go right back to it. Wouldn't be surprised if Ana Gulov has seen still a few stars in the after effects of that last head on head collision. Ana Gulov, the Olympian near the edge, trying to get that reverse head position. Trying to thrust up backwards for a throw, brings them around to the side, out of bounds they go, and they're gonna go two red. And let's see if the judge confirms it. And now a timeout is called. Blood timeout for Sharshimbekov. So did they not even go two or even one on that last exchange? No points awarded yet. I couldn't quite see what the referee or what the judge had signaled. The referee signaled two, and I couldn't see if the judge had white paddled it or confirmed it, but he must have white paddled. Scoreboard still showing one nothing. Ana Gulov taken to his back. Sharshimbekov right to his back. Tremendous job there. And now he's in a position to get the fall. And there it is. Kyrgyzstan wins gold. Tyner Sharshimbekov just caught Ana Gulov and he pancaked him flat on the shoulders. And the fall awarded. And they will go to the review to make sure. Tough match if this truly is the ending for Mirambek Anagulov. The Tokyo Olympian lost his only match at the Olympic Games, a world bronze medalist in Kazakhstan in 2019. Two-time world medalist, including a silver medal in 2017. And again, he's, he's wrestling up a weight. Keep in mind, all of that was at 60 kilos. Now he's up here at 63, and he got taken right to his back. Keep an eye on the lower half. Make sure there wasn't a leg foul for Sharsh and Bekov as they take multiple looks at this one. I did not see any. Just caught him up high. So that is going to be it. Challengers lost. The fall stands in Tyner. Sharshimbekov will win the gold medal as he raises his arms in victory. And Kyrgyzstan has their first gold at these Asian championships. That's a little bit of a surprise. That one was anticipated on being a tight bout. And here comes the flag in the stage and the great long story tradition for the gold medal winner to showcase his country's colors and raise them as your gold medal winner and continental champion.